Hey amazing artists, Mrs. Parvin here. And today I'm going to talk to you about yarn. Yarn is going to come in handy for lots of different projects. It's really useful and versatile. But you may not have a ball of yarn at home. No yarn, no problem. Because I'm going to show you how to make homemade yarn out of an old t-shirt. I can't wait to show you how. So your t-shirt can be any size, color, or pattern. You just have to make sure you ask your grown-up first. It's also important you have the right scissors for this. You want large, sharp adult scissors. Little kids' paper scissors just aren't going to cut through the t-shirt fabric properly. Next, you want to smooth the t-shirt flat on a hard surface like the top of the table or floor. And you're going to start cutting right underneath the underarms, right under the sleeves, from underarm to underarm, all the way across the t-shirt. Notice sometimes it's crumpling up, so I'm just gonna keep pulling the fabric tight as I'm cutting until I go from one end of the shirt to the other, like so. So here's the part that we cut off. You can see it's the sleeves and the neck of the shirt. We're gonna set this part aside and this is the piece that you're going to use to make your, your yarn. So it's like a pretty straight tube of fabric like so. So next you want to turn the fabric to the side seam, which is the side of the shirt right here. And we're going to cut along that seam so that it'll be one open piece of fabric. Let me show you how. So the seam provides a nice guideline that you're going to cut along, almost like a straight line. Just straighten out the hem of the shirt here. Take your sharp scissors and follow that line. You're just going through the top layer of the shirt. So right now the shirt is not doubled up and you're cutting from one end to the other. And then when I open it up, I have one huge piece of fabric, just like so. Okay, so I got a smaller shirt. This is a little easier to show you. So you take your open piece and you're gonna fold it right back as if you were folding it back to the seam and smooth it out just like so. So here it is again, refold it together, and then you're gonna turn the shirt so the folded part is facing you. It's gonna be much easier to cut that way. With the fold facing you, you're gonna cut through both layers of the shirt together all the way across, about a half inch piece. I like to hold my fingers behind so I don't cut myself and not keep the shirt nice and tight that way until I go all the way across like so. And then I'll have a piece of yarn like that. So you're gonna keep going. Let's look at that again. Across. All right, replay this time on the big orange shirt. Folded side facing you, make sure it's smooth. And then you're gonna cut all the way across while holding it tight as you cut. Definitely ask a grown-up to help you with this part if you need it. It can get tricky, especially with a really big shirt like the one I have here. And you're just gonna go all the way across, keep smoothing it out and holding it tight as you're cutting across the shirt. So we're now we're gonna turn these pile of basically scraps into yarn. This is the fun part. You're gonna pick up a piece and you're just gonna start pulling and stretching the fabric, pulling it really tight. This is taking all the elasticity out of the t-shirt and making it a lot thinner from that flat piece. So now it looks more like yarn. Isn't that cool? Let's do that again, this time with the orange. So it starts out as a flat strip and then you move along the strip and just start tugging and pulling to pull out the elasticity of the fabric and making it thinner and thinner to look more like yarn. Go all the way across. Wow, this is a really big piece. I'm just gonna keep pulling and tugging until I go all the way across. Look at the difference between the pulled yarn and the flat piece. One more time for fun, folks. Why not start out with a flat strip to go from here to here. You're just gonna start at one end tug and pull, tug and pull. You can even do this with someone in your house and have a little tug of war. That would be kind of fun. Keep going until you are all the way across. Notice I'm starting to get a nice little pile of yarn here. There we go. Yep. 
You can definitely leave the strips unattached just like this. Great for friendship bracelets or for weaving, but maybe you wanna make one big ball of yarn. To turn this into a ball, we need to start attaching the strips together. So we're gonna do that with a slip knot. You're gonna hold two ends right next to each other, put them around your finger, and twirl it once around the finger like this. Then you're going to slip the two ends through that hole that you made around your finger and pull, pull, pull really tight. Try and get as close to the end as you can so that you don't have a big part sticking out. Keep adding to your chain. So let's do that again, slip knot. Hold the two ends next to each other, wrap around your finger, slip the ends through the hole like you're tying a shoe and then pull, pull, pull until it's tight. Oops, sorry, it's out of view there for a second. Okay, so then you're gonna go to the end of the strip and keep going. Once all your individual strips are attached and you have a nice pile, you're gonna find the end in order to make a ball of yarn. And you're gonna start just by wrapping it around and around your finger and then turning it and wrapping it in a different direction. Crisscrossing it is gonna keep the yarn in place. So just keep wrapping it around and around. So it's a little hard to handle when it's small. So that's why you wanna keep turning the ball of yarn as you're wrapping it around. And don't worry about where those little knots are. You can just wrap the yarn right over it like so. Okay, whoops, that went flying. All right, fortunately I didn't lose too much. Home stretch here, I'm starting to see the end. Just keep going around and around. Notice the ball of yarn is getting bigger and bigger and you're just gonna keep using up all of those strips and you have a nice homemade looking ball of yarn that you made all by yourself. Looks pretty professional, I am impressed. Don't forget to send me pictures of your completed projects. And remember, stay awesome, keep smiling, and know how much I miss you. Bye.